Welcome to my channel today as we discuss how to start small cosmetic business online. You beauty enthusiasts and aspiring entrepreneur, welcome to my channel. Today, we are going to dive into the exciting world of e-commerce, beauty e-commerce. I will guide you on how to launch your very own online cosmetic brand, step by steps. Whether you are a whiz at formulating serums or have an eye for innovative makeup palettes, this comprehensive guide will equip you with the knowledge to turn your passion into profit. I'm here to be your cheerleader and a business strategist. We will cover everything from identifying your niche market to crafting show-stopping products, photography, and building a brand that resonates with your ideal customer. So, relax. Calm down as we enroll or as we roll this journey. But before then, I will suggest you subscribe, share, be ready to comment as the video progresses. Click on the notification button to get the whole idea or the whole videos coming from me subsequently. Why will you listen to me? I have built a lot of e-commerce businesses from scratch to top. So I know what it means to sell any product online. I mean any product. I know how to set up any business online, starting from conceptualization to the realization of the ideas. So what is the first step once you want to come online? The first step is to choose or pick a niche. Yes, the word cosmetic cosmetic is vast so you must find an area to specialize how do you get this area or how do you special how do you identify area to specialize now you will start from thinking or assuming or looking for who your target audience should be who are you creating it for is it for eco-conscious millennials makeup enthusiasts with sensitive skin or busy professionals seeking natural alternatives. Understanding your ideal customer, ideal client, the target market is the key. Now, the next thing to do is product focus. Will you specialize in high performance skincare, vibrant mineral makeup palettes, or innovative vegan beauty products? How, what, what product are you looking at? These are things you have to put into consideration. Now, your brand identity. What sets you apart? What makes? What is your unique selling point? Are you committed to cruelty-free practice? Yes. The industry is filled with uh, false information. Are you out to stand to have a very unique selling point? Do you offer re refillable packaging or sustainability? These are things you have to put into consideration when going into or bringing your cosmetic business online. Now, let me give you a pro tip. You have to research other popular online beauty sellers, beauty retailers, shops, and social media handles to see what is happening, what is the gap in the market, to identify what is hot and how you can come in is a pro tip. So in as much as you are listening to me, you are going to make your research online beauty retailers and social media trends that will inform your decision after that the second step is i hope you've gotten you must niche down that is the first step the second step is that you have to research and regulations knowledge is power as you know before going into your first batch of production or showcasing your product you have to do essential research. You have to familiarize yourself with regulations set by your country governments. 
or governing bodies to ensure your products are safe and compliant. Yes, the cosmetics is all about skin. It's all about health. So you must ensure that there is uh, you, you are, your line of production is in tandem with government regulations in your area. The ingredient sourcing. You have to research on reputable suppliers for high quality, ethical source of ingredients. These are the researches you have to do. What is government tech in the area you want to go? How do you source your ingredients? Computation analysis. Yes, analyze successfully online cosmetics brands. What are their strengths and weaknesses? How can you create a differentiated offering or what will make you, what will attract people using product A or B back to you as a beginner. These are very crucial things you have to think of. Now, the step three, crafting your brand. Very essential. Your brand is beyond just having a logo or product label. It is the heart and soul of your business. Your brand is the everything about you. Develop a brand story that resonates with your target audience. This is very, very essential. The story is what captures the attention of this buyer. So you have to develop a story that resonates with your audience. What is your mission statement? What value does your brand represent? Are you committed to inclusivity, natural ingredients, or empowering self-expression? You must make these things very known to your potential clients. Brand voice and personality. How do you want to communicate with your customers? Fun and playful, sophisticated and scientific. How do you want to communicate with them? These are things, the steps you must take because remember your business should be customer oriented. So you must pick a niche, you must do your research, and you must think of how to bring your brand story to your clients. The first step is formulating or selecting products. There are two main parts of doing this. Do it yourself formula. In this case, if you are passionate about creating your own cosmetics, now invest in formulating courses and workshops to learn about safe practices and effective ingredients. This is when you want to do it. If I assume you must have got an idea, if you are into this field, the do-it-yourself area, you must have something to formulate. However, you must have a better understanding of knowing how to do this effectively without having problem. Now, the second phase is private label, label partnering. You collaborate with reputable private label manufacturers to create your own brand cosmetics. Yes, these, these are existing companies, existing brands, but you can still partner with them so that they will create your brand for you. That's, this saves you a lot of time on product development or requires thorough research to find manufacturer that aligns with your quality standards. Yes, it, it, it saves you a whole lot of time when you are partnering with existing uh, brand. However, it takes a whole lot of time to identify reliable and uh, effective brand to partner with. But with proper research, you will still get, we have a lot of them online that will definitely show you the right way. The fifth step is packaging, packaging, packaging. Eye-catching packaging is essential for online cosmetics. Here are some tips. Minimalistic and modern design. Keep it clean, sleek, and visual appealing. Yes, whatever you want to bring out, it must be very, very appealing anyway. Sustainable materials. Consider eco-friendly packaging, like recycled cardboard or refillable container. These are things you have to consider. The packaging is, in fact, remember, the first sight will trigger the, the, uh, will trigger the attraction of your product. Functionality matters. Ensure your packaging is easy to open and protect your product during shipping. Yes. Bonus tips. Invest in mock-ups to visualize your product packaging before placing a bulk order. Yes. Most people have lost money in this. After producing a mass or in large quantity, and you come to find out there are little, little problems 
that may hamper your cosmetic product. Please, if you are enjoying this video, I urge you to subscribe, share, be part of my community, please, so that we'll grow together. Now, the step six is building your own online beauty empire. Yes, this is where it starts. You have done all the other researches, but now it is time to build it. There are numerous user-friendly e-commerce platforms like Shopify or Squarespace. Choose the one that features, that offers features that tell us to your cosmetics industry. Yes. Shopify, Squarespace, a lot of um, a lot of online stores where you can list your product. High quality image upload capabilities. Showcase your product in their glory. Yes, your image should be high quality. All angles. Please, what people buy is what they see online. So give it a very good look and present it with a quality um, in a very quality well, quality presentation. Inventory management tools. Track stock levels and prevent out of stock situation because the online, once you do the right thing, orders will be pouring. You have a lot of orders. So you must ensure that, yes, you must ensure that you have um, inventory management tools to know when to promote further and when to hold on for your goods to be in stock. Step seven, this is the D time. This is the time to get your brand noticed. Marketing, marketing, marketing. Create captivating photos and videos showcasing your product in action. Yes, once you do that, what kind of marketing do you do? Influencer marketing. One, you collaborate with beauty bloggers or micro-influencers relevant to your niche. Yes, influencer marketing is very essential. Then, engaging in content strategy. This is powerful. Offer makeup tutorials, skincare tips, and behind the scene glimpse into your brand story. Very, very essential. Write on the benefit of uh, the skincare, a lot about skincare. Then at the end of it, that's three detailed tutorials. Then at the end of the day, you have a link to your store. People that buy from your content or from your content will know, really, you know what you're talking about. And obviously, they will patronize you. Customer experience, that is step eight. Build trust and fostering loyalty. A loyal customer is always a live customer. Yes, you require exceptional customer service. How do you do that? Respond promptly. Yes, whatever the issue it is, address it as fast as, within 24 hours, you must have addressed the matter. Transparency is key. Be clear about the ingredients you are using. Product claims and return policies. Make these things clear for your customers. In fact, remember, the idea of starting a business is just to acquire customers. So, and the idea of sustaining a business is to have loyal customers. So you must do these things. Retain your customers as much as you can. Embrace feedback. Listen to customer suggestions and use them to improve your formulations and offering. Go extra mile. Offer personalized recommendations. Loyalty. That's related to programs. And exclusive discounts to reward repeat customers. Customers are the lifeline. You must give them that support. Then the step nine is mastering the Lego landscape. Yes, it is an online business. However, you need to register your business. Choose a business structure. Yes, either LLC or, in fact, LLC is the best. Go for product liability insurance. Protect your business from potential lawsuits with product liability insurance. Trademark your brand. Safeguard your brand name and logo by obtaining a trademark. These things are very, very essential. The skincare industry is very sensitive that you must you must ensure that you have all the Lego backing. Please subscribe to my channel, share, click the notification button if you're enjoying. Please comment 
we are necessary. Now, it is time to grow your empire. It is, it is, I have assumed that you must, if you follow this step, you must have set up business, cosmetic business online. Grow your beauty empire. The future is beautiful. Analyze your sales data. Yes, expand your horizon. Embrace community. Track what is selling. The traffic in your sites. How is it converting? You understand? How do customers respond to the track to your product? In the marketing sector, as I said, please note you can use email marketing section. You can use email marketing, social media. Email marketing is the first visitors. I, I, I did uh, sorry identity or emails. You must offer them good, uh, good. Uh, you must provide them good offer that will make them get those things for you, so that um, you can get their email so that you can remarket them again. That is how you grow. There you have it. Yes. To launch a successful online cosmetic brand requires dedication, creativity, and strategic plans. Transform your passion into thriving business by following this step-by-step -step, uh, uh, guide to launch your successful cosmetic business. Remember, the journey to beauty boss down is an exciting adventure. So keep creating, keep learning, and keep inspiring the world with your unique brand of beauty. Please, if you have enjoyed this video, click the subscription button there. Don't forget to comment. Don't com forget to share. Please, this is exactly how or steps you will follow bring their cosmetic business online. Thank you for watching.